Nexus for our special look at the special edition space dock from the Star Trek collection. For many, this is the holy grail. We have been asking for this for such a long time. We are going to be looking at the model itself. This is, I mean, it's, the box is so big it won't even fit in the uh, in the shop properly. It's, it's huge, but we'll have a look at that in just a minute. Let's go through the book on the magazine. So here we get a nice shot of the top view, obviously the famous 15 door there where the enterprise came from or went in and came out uh very easy design to put in uh obviously specs here it doesn't tell you the crew complement but it's, it's it's in the thousands i would have I, would, I wouldn't i would imagine it'd be in the millions um but yeah this is definitely a holy grail item for the star trek collection it's been asked for, for such a long time um and and we've got it and it's here uh obviously we have a really nice picture here cgi picture obviously this is all the in-universe information that we get because even though it appeared in uh, next generation and in the feature films uh we don't really know much about it other than it's a space dock uh to repair and launch ships and that's it really uh and then we go on to obviously uh, the visuals of it, so how they came up with it and stuff like that, and how it was done for the uh, for the search for Spock film. So here's some of the concept arts for it. Obviously, they had they already had the dry dock and um, uh, regal, but I mean it was um, they wanted something different. So these are a lot of illustrations here. Obviously, some some concept art of the excelsior here and here and what they thought it might look like uh i think they did do a uh, a model very similar to this i don't know if we'll get it in the collection but maybe uh and then obviously uh they made sort of these uh, simple models and then just combined bits from each one and then there's a lovely picture of it here lit using uh neon lights so that was uh, them installing the neon lights onto it before I think the outer shell goes on so that's quite good um, and obviously it had massive this this thing was built as a model but then also scaled up for the interior shots and uh, here's another shot as well so this part this bit goes into that they could move bits in and out and then we had the outside as well here. It's interesting as well to note that in this section they go on about how they designed it. And actually they used wallpaper to use this effect and poke little holes in it. So it gave it a sense of scale. And uh, it obviously got very, very hot in here as well. Because of the lighting they were really using. But I mean the end result looks absolutely amazing. And you wouldn't have noticed any other way. If they hadn't told you. So here we have uh, a storyboard mode of when they uh, stole the Enterprise. So this is it leaving uh, Space Dock here. And then obviously going off. Uh, and then we have the lovely scene there from the film. Uh, then we have some close-up shots of when it comes in damaged from the Wrath of Khan. And some returning actors and, and stuff like that. And it's an amazing shot. So that's how they got onto all of that. And then obviously it's worth noting that obviously with Discovery out, we have um, a model that was going to be in the uh, the Planet of Titans film, which obviously became the motion picture. Uh, but the Enterprise was going to be redesigned and that was what it was going to look like, which obviously now is Discovery. But it appears in the uh, in the foreground of this scene on the space dock so that's quite good so it really kind of ties in because you could also say that that was discovery or a uh, a refit discovery it sort of ties in really really nicely it's also worth noting as well that in discovery's final season of season one we see the construction of uh space dock as well but anyway that is the magazine so let's this is space dock out of the box and as you can see it's huge um so there's my hand at the bottom <laughs> so it's tall it's bigger than my hand uh from from the base that is uh i'm just going to bring it round here a little bit and just sort of show you um 
some of the designs here. So we have, uh, obviously, the door number 15. And that is very uh, significant because that's where the Enterprise came out or was stolen from. And obviously entered as well. So that's the door there. And then we have uh, seven round here. 28 and 21. Um, these these here, um, I do believe these are, uh, are sort of... Um, docking of of shuttles and smaller crafts uh we've also got some down here as well uh we've got the antennas at the top here um i'm just going to try and get it a little bit closer because it's got this federation sort of camo paneling effect which is really nice and it brings out it as well and also you can make out all these little white dots these are all windows so this sort of shows the scale on how big it is it's up you know, for lots of people, this is a holy grail thing. I mean, it's been been requested and asked for and petitioned and everything. And I'm just so glad that we've we've got it in the collection and that we have it. So I'm going to take it off. So it just sort of slips slips in and out of this whole design. I'm just going to try and... Uh, there we go. Yeah, so it just sort of slips in there. It's a very strange design, but it works, and that's all that matters. So here we have the space dock, and I've got to say, I am awesomely impressed. I'm just going to turn on the light so we can get a bit more lightage here. There we go. And as you can see, it's just so, it's so nice. It's you know something that we've all wanted and we've all waited for for such a long time, and it's it's now here. And even underneath the uh, the mushroom design here, so I'm going to tip it upside down here for a minute. It's got little raised. I don't know if you can pick that up too well on the camera. Ah, there we go. So just here, you can see that it's like. It's slightly raised. There's loads of little slightly raised sections all the way around. Uh, nice touch with the blue. So blue, light blue plastic here. So that's really nice. So I'm just going to try and uh, let you see all of that. You can see the raised sections better actually there. Once again, it's that panel design and loads of these little white lights as well. Or little, little white specks. Now, all these purple things are obviously docking bays for uh, smaller ships. They're, I mean, they, they aren't incredibly lined up here, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is just so nice to have. Uh, we come further down to it. I'm going to tip it over again because there's some really nice detailing underneath here on uh, these sections, which I, I, I would imagine these are like thrusters of some sort. And this is sort of like the power core of it. This blue section uh, would be a sort of power source, I would imagine. Uh, similar to like our, um, the power on like starships, like a warp drive or something like that, or impulse engine. And that's why it that illuminates. And then we have the uh, this ball section at the end. So I'm just going to carefully show you. And once again, we've got this that textured look and antennas at the bottom here you know it's just i mean to get this sort of detail as well i mean it's never been this has never been done before by anyone um i've seen some on 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 ebay and on facebook and stuff like that but so this has never been mass produced sort of thing and then we have like the antennas on the top i mean the level of detail is so cool it's just it's you know, like I say, this is like a holy grail. So many people have been asking for this. And it's it's so nice to have. But anyway, that is that is it for Earth Space Stock. Oh, that's my mistake. There it goes. And it sits really nicely in there as well. And it sits really nice. So, yeah. That, but anyway, that is it from us here at the Nexus. Uh, join us for another video from the Starship Collection. Remember to click to subscribe. Remember to check out our flashback videos that are on e each week. And that showcases some of the older 
and ships from the series. Anyway, that is it from us from our Nexus, and we'll see you at the next video.